Good morning, guys. 4 a.m., 0400. So, morning for me. May not be for you guys. I feel great. I just took a shower. We're parked up in the beautiful, lovely, amazing, must visit West Memphis, <laughs> Arkansas. It's not beautiful. It's not lovely. It's not safe. But we got great parking here. We've been here for uh, for the night and for the remainder of the morning. We're doing something I don't normally do. We're we're going to Boston. We're going to Boston, where they uh, <clears throat> go inside for a cup of Joe, and they say, "Can I get some coffee for you?" That's where we're headed, and Boston's on my no <clears throat> my no fly list. I haven't been to Boston since TNT, and for good reason. Boston sucks. But he gave us an offer we couldn't refuse. Almost 5,000 bucks for 1,300 miles on a FedEx load that's gonna weigh like 10,000 pounds. So we're shipping up to Boston. <laughs> Could not say no to that, especially after this last week. We just had an amazing, amazingly profitable week we did almost eighty five hundred dollars on uh, four thousand miles and our heaviest load was twenty six thousand pounds that was a meat load the load we just dropped off yesterday weighed two thousand pounds it was four pallets two thousand pounds so we've been pulling light loads all week average over two dollars a mile so when this option came up the, uh, last night to go pick this FedEx load up, I was like, you know what? Jen and I both are anti-Boston with a truck, but both of us just kind of mutually nodded and were like, yeah, we're gonna run that. <laughs> Cause it puts almost 5,000 revenue to the truck by Friday. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna run that load up to Boston. <laughs> Can't say no to that. Um, so. It's been, other than our frustration at the uh, receiver the other morning, it's been a really good week, man. Really good week. 4,000 miles, that's right at what we like to run. Over $2 a mile average. That's above what we like to run. I mean, obviously we like to, we want to run as high as possible, but man, what an excellently, that's so profitable, you guys so profitable and this week's starting out that way now i don't know what the reload situation is going to be i know there's some <clears throat> fed there's good fedex up in connecticut uh, so there's there's a couple options i really don't want to haul ice cream i'd rather go up and get french fries in maine than to go get uh ice cream there's a bakery up in new hampshire there's candles up there I'd rather do any of that than ice cream, so we'll see what happens. But things are going good, man. I'm rocking the uh, Prime hat. I have been hunting for this hat for a while. I used to have one of these, but I got a huge grease stain across it. And for months, all I've been able to find is the ones that say tanker and uh, flatbed. So I'm rocking it. Finally in Pittston, I found a reefer division one. So, I know some of you are gonna say, where's the Peterbilt hat? I, I'm rocking prime, man. I am prime all the way. So, if you're one of those asking me if I'm still a fan of prime, man, I'm more a fan of prime now than I've ever been. We love work, we love driving for prime, love it. And I ain't just singing those praises because of referral codes or some of you, some of you guys are really funny singing those praises because we love what we're doing someone asked me today uh last night um who was it ben ben i think on discord asked a question about uh are we like happy enough to where we could retire otr with prime yes absolutely we're developing a plan that's going to do just that for us so very happy with Prime. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna start representing Prime on the hat. 
Plus, I just love this hat. It's very lightweight and hot is coming. Although, we did drive through, uh, I drove through snow, ice, and wind last night for like three hours. It was ridiculous. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> not last night, but the night before, not this last night, which we're currently finishing, but the night before. And I only had 2,000 pounds in the trailer, and that wind was, it was sketchy, man. I had to pull over like three times and check the Windy app, which is a fantastic app. If you guys want a great app for wind, Windy. I don't, I think it's on Android too. It is an amazing app to track wind, gust speeds. Um, it's not an app that does anything else. It's just wind. Uh, great app. So anyway, I pulled over like three or four times to, uh, to make sure I knew what the directions were of the wind, what the speeds were of the sustained and the speeds of the gust because I was basically empty all night. And it was a little sketchy, so I don't know what's up with that. But hot is coming, you guys. And I dread it. I like, to, I'll deal with this 38 degree stuff over 100 degrees with all humidity any day of the week. So you're out there cranking a heavy chicken, a heavy trailer at a chicken plant in pure humidity in the south. Dude, you're like dripping sweat on your bills of lading. <laughs> so. Hopefully this nice cool weather lasts a little bit longer. I just got shot in the face with an air brake. But anyway, yeah, we're shipping up to Boston. Uh, I'm gonna go work on a newsletter and then get some sleep. Jenna will go get this load later today. And then uh, <clears throat> see if I can walk through these trucks. So I'm not looking like a doofus walking in front of everybody talking to my phone. Although I did tell somebody, I think it's Ben Ben, I told him, hey, in West, <clears throat> in West, West Memphis, people see me walking around the, the lot talking to myself. I probably look like a local, right? <laughs> but anyway, I'm going to go work on a newsletter, get some news out. Oh my God, look at this, you guys. Look at this. Four in the morning. Loves at West Memphis. It's a rare sighting. Out in the wild, an empty spot. Holy shit. Holy shit. All right, guys. If you're not subscribed to the newsletter, do so. Click the link below in the description. We have almost 500 subscribers to our newsletter. Send one out every week. Make sure you subscribe. More updates coming later today. Be safe. Make good decisions. Always drive to thrive. Talk to you guys soon.